Part of our national mythology is that we are a good people, we are a democracy. And we are a democracy, and in our better moments, we are very good people. But that's not all there is to this story. And I think if we're going to congratulate ourselves on our democracy, which I think we should, we also need to face up to the other side. The U.S. and the Holocaust is a three-part, six-and-a-half-hour film looking at what Americans knew, when we knew it, what we thought about the information and the situation facing the Jews of Europe in the early 1930s. We were all a little reticent about another film about the Holocaust. What would be new for us to say? We actually were asking questions to which we didn't know the answer. Most important, what was our response? And in my opinion, why did we fail? Why didn't we do more? We are telling a complicated story that goes against the mythology that we like to tell ourselves. And one of the mythologies of the United States is that we're a nation of immigrants. It also happens to be true. And from 1870 to 1920, we let in tens of millions of people who made our country better in every way. But the people who had been there before the arrival of these immigrants, mostly white, Protestant, Northern Europeans, began to worry that they were being replaced. By 1924, we had passed a really restrictive immigration law and said, we're gonna set quotas. Everybody knew enough to know that something terrible was happening. And yet, when you look at the polling, the American public was quite consistent throughout the war and after that, yes, things are terrible, this is really bad, but we should not admit more refugees. While the show was still touring, word came that some of the 70,000 Jews still alive in the Warsaw Ghetto had risen up against the Nazis rather than be deported to Treblinka. They had already buried artwork, diaries, poetry, and final notes in steel milk cans in the ground. We began this in 2015, which was a far different United States than it is now. We know from decades of experience that when we finish telling the story, it will resonate in the present in ways that will be kind of obvious and ways that will be surprising to us. Unfortunately, this film resonates way too much. The crisis, I think, facing our country, the crisis facing the world, happened while we were making the film. And so the film took on I would say for all of us working on it, an urgency, an importance, a relevance that we actually didn't expect. One of our producers was pulling footage of Nazi atrocities from the 1930s and 40s on one screen, and on the other screen, January 6th was happening in real time. We were basically surrounded by a sense that our democracy is much more fragile than we understood. This is a story in which everyone is challenged all the time. We are challenged as Americans, we're challenged as parents, as children, we're challenged as neighbors and as friends to think about what we would have done, what we could have done, what we should have done. And even though the Holocaust physically took place in Europe, it is a story that Americans have to reckon with too. So many people who've watched the film have said, how come I didn't know? I was never taught this in school. Why is it so hard for us to tell the truth about our own history? Because of the themes that it engages, the magnitude of the tragedy we're covering, and the emotions that it created for us who made it, I can say to myself, not with any sadness, but I won't work on a more important film.